Hello world, PDR coming at you here with an 04 Dodge. Um, really nice truck. It's got a big dent right here. These ones, guys, I'm gonna give you a little insight onto this dent. I can almost guarantee you, and I'm in my sweats, it's Sunday, we're out in nature, uh, but I can almost guarantee you that this is how this dent was caused. So let me just show you how this dent was probably caused. Somebody was standing on the truck, a little taller than me, right? And then they did this to lean into the truck and they've tried to get something out of the bed of the truck and their knee went into that. And that's probably how that dent happened. That's normally how all those dents happen. So what I'm gonna do, no heat, it's white, it's a 12 year old car. Um, am I being lazy? Maybe just a bit, but let's be honest here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take this brow out of the bottom nice tappies just to give it that uh, break that tightest point right there you guys know that if there's an eyebrow on the bottom there's gonna be one on the top even though the one on the top isn't as severe because it's not on that body line go on this side. you can hear that sound pitch change There, a little bit more of a drummy sound rather than a tinny sound. And at this point in the video is when I'd say, I sure do appreciate y'all clicking on this video. If you would, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. I'm still got this little tight triangle down here. We're using the Shane Jack's Jackhammer blending hammer. About a four and a half pound throw and some real confidence because once you use the hammer a little bit you'll start realizing it's pretty forgiving it gives you a lot of room nice thing about an 04 Dodge oops didn't make a dent almost did um, is that I've got a, a post hole right here whatever they use them for I don't know bed post hole and I'm gonna just basically find my tool if I can get in there <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys have an angle on it but I'm right at the top I'm gonna come from the top and I have kind of a weird angle on this one can you guys see no. okay. um, uh, yes well I might have to uh, change views also got it. you got it okay we're on it we're on it guys let's take this down out we're going right through the middle <clears throat> haven't gotten to that body line yet actually I'm on the scratch right now let's see if that gives you a little bit of better angle <laughs> yeah probably without the board would even be better at this fog line but now if you run the fog line through back and forth you'll see I have a high push here where I kind of made an impatient push and my tool is just dropping down like this and I'm twisting and prying at the same time guys so come on back down and now I'm at the start of the base right here and I'm gonna run that line up uh, if I can find it there we are now I'm gonna run that line all the way up, make some severe pushes. Now severe for me means about 10 pounds of pressure is about all I could ever push on a... Okay guys, we're back. Um, let me show you where the dent was. It was right here, right underneath this hole. And I do uh, wanna show you how I did it. I had the board out at different angles at different, you know, out on this edge basically. And I was coming in with Louie and coming in through here um, so we got most of that dent out there's a little bit of a brow on the bottom edge there um, but uh, I think for what we attempted and what we said we were gonna do for this dent I think it came out real nice um, if you would hit that like button on the way out guys I sure do appreciate y'all clicking on the video again and this has been PDR and I'm out peace